What's happening explorers and thank you so much for clicking on a brand new video. I am so sorry for a little camera shake in this video and a little bit fast moving. It was very hard to film this place. It was so tight to walk around. So we found out a little bit of history. This guy lived here completely on his own and he was a massive book collector, but he also did sell a lot of his books overseas and in the UK. But yeah, what an incredible place. Hopefully you enjoyed the video guys, please, please give it a thumbs up. Love you loads, and if you're new to the channel, like Bro. and subscribe. Bro, who thought we'd be in Wales again this quick? Yeah. Oh, I love Wales. <laughs> Wait, yeah, let's look at the sheep. No, oh, they're rams. Oh, they're rams. Right, can everyone just watch where you're walking? Yeah, we're we're stop trading and shit. <laughs> yeah. Dave's kicking it around like it's a football. I feel like, you know, Jurassic Park, that's one huge pile of... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like we've been on, this is a wild goose talk. Who said there's a house down? <laughs> it's getting dark now. No drone stuff. Won't be able to do anything on this one. But do you know what? That could be a good thing. I don't know. He's, we just met the strangest guy, literally. Not because he's camping on his own. He just seems really weird. I don't know. He just looked like he wanted to... Should I put my wellies on? I'll give him credit that he's actually camping on his own. Yeah, he's got... He's no, got, he'll be surprised how many people do it. He's got some, he's got some kahunas. It's, it's nice to be fish. free, isn't it? It's getting dark now. It's getting dark. <laughs> it's better be saying good down here, otherwise I'm going to be very upset. I'm going to lie. Nearly broke my ankle. Twice. Look at this. This is a public footpath. This is a health hazard. This is... Oh, don't. No. Don't. Yeah, guys, and to let you know what Mark's talking about, don't say we could have parked down here. I believe our light is. Bro, what's down here? It's a bit scary when you see, I'm not going to point it, but MOD someone. Yeah, no. Let's go. Wait, do you realise? We probably thought the hiker was the nicest guy ever, but he's probably robbing the car right now. Don't. Serious? Yeah, we're on the back seat. Paul, you take this on a wild goose tour, or there's a house actually down here? Taking <laughs> us down the woods for a bit of a I'm winding you up, bro. Well, I'm not liking what I first seen. Guys, if anything happens to us, blame Paul. <laughs> okay. I'll give you my name and address at the end. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put the oldest in charge. So what do we know about this house? Nothing. Literally nothing. We could be walking straight into Texas Chainsaw Massacre's house right now, ready to be served up. And I don't really want to eat Paul, and I'm not going to be the one that dies first. I'm all bony. I don't want to eat you. Can't believe I've got new £80 boots from Amazon, and they're already getting wet in the front. It's you don't watch where you're walking, Dave. But they're meant to be waterproof. Doesn't mean you just walk through that shit, does it? Yeah, but I didn't just a lot of walk through floods. I've just gone for a little puddle. <laughs> I don't know. Is this it? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's the house there. Yeah. Holy smoly. Yeah. This was their drive, that was their post box at the uh, beginning of the week. I'm not gonna lie, I really do sometimes overthink stuff when we're exploring, plus it's getting dark. But we're literally 
We could be walking straight into a, a potential serial killer's house. I'm going to twist my ankle and hey. feel it or jolt my back. Well, you can go for it. And bro, me and you can't, we can't run that far. <laughs> well, I, can't I don't know, you all. might be able to run further than me. But. <laughs> this is my point. I learned, I learned this at Chris Evans' house. When we set the alarm What's off. You, you still cycle loads. No, I run. I can only last for so long, so I'm going to have no... Well, we're not we're talking about running, but to stand my ground. We're talking about running, we're not on about your... Uh... That's what I mean, running. Oh, I'd have to stand my ground. Yeah, I'd have yeah, to. I can't I wouldn't run. run. I'd, I'd, not, I'd, not be, I'd, I'd just be like, you know... What? No, it's well, fun running, though. It's a, it's it a looks like a, a big house. But we did get told that someone locally or something comes down and, like, checks on it now and again. So, yeah. So work me out, side to side. Oh. Oh, back from the old... So Paul just felt like running. You've not been to Hadrian's Wall or nothing like that? Right, we're going to cut this. We're going to get further down, otherwise you're just going to get the walk straight down to it. <sighs> I'm not going to lie, I'm literally a bit nervous about this one. Right, I know people don't want to hear that, the, the great explorers are nervous, but yeah, I'm a little bit nervous about this one. Oh yeah, don't, oh yeah, no, 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 no. I feel like this is walking straight into some like, horror movie right now. Because it looks so much smaller, this bit here, than it does in the picture. That's why pictures are angles, man, it's how you do it. Yeah, and they twist it. All right, Paul, look at this. So hopefully you can see me. This is going to be, I think there's a way there, bro. I think we're going to have to maybe do a revisit here. It's so dark. Yeah. I can't even really see it there. A little river running down there. But the back of this property it looks so cool. It's a weird house. I can't get over like how strange it is. It's so weird. Like the whole layout of the building. Can you smell the old diesel and these engines? There's a barn over there. Yeah, we're gonna try and get in this place. Shame it's dark, but do you know what? It just gives it that horrible, weird, weird feeling, I'm not gonna lie. Just got a bit of a weird one about this one. Gee whiz. This is like a holder's nightmare. But you didn't think, Paul, for about four or five days ago, you'd be coming out exploring. Oh. Guys, I'm not going to lie. This is tough. Hey. What? How many books in this one room here? I mean, the 80s out of cars, 1945 to 1970. It's a great title for me. Give yeah. me some book names. Ruffles David Dark. Steele. Quite Another one. Let's go. Let's go. George it's Thomas. Dark. And so to Bath. Wow, look, and everything's collar themed up as well. Oh. Bro. Sea buttons. Oh, that's quite an interesting one. And these stairs, look, all the books in here as well. Mm -hmm. Look, the Parador Eve town. Battlefield Earth. I mean, that, that is a proper... Look, yeah, screenplay. Yeah, look. Ah, oh, the Masters of Voice. Yeah, you've got a whole team for all look. I've seen a lot of them houses. Columbia Records. That's so cool, man. That is amazing, yeah. isn't it? Do you remember E17? Look at these, yeah. Well, I bet there's some rare books in here, some of these. Do you remember E17's logo? I thought you meant E17. E17. Oh. Staying <laughs> every day, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks, look. <laughs> well, you've got a slug on the back of your jacket. Oh, yeah. I'll knock it off. Oh, it's just absolutely... I mean, this is... Dude, it's this is bad, like, man. I don't really understand it. Oh, look at that. Full console Zodiac. He's on car books, bro. Mm -hmm. 
Collection cars. Car, so we got the old uh, Search of England. Charlotte. Porsches. Nice. Oh, is, even the books have a bit of condition on the inside. That man, there's just literally everywhere, Paul. Is that room and all? Oh, wow. wow. Oh. What? Oh, Dude, Paul, have a look in here, man. So many windows just busted, isn't it? She doesn't care, she's already up there. <laughs> the big book of gardening. <laughs> Ready? Uh, I'll tell you what I want, but I really, really want. I bet that was collectible. Mm -hmm. Probably is. Yeah, uh, there is a Catherine lot. Cookson, my nan and granda loves the uh, TV show. I love a lot of car books. The old Haynes, what cars have we got there? So, Opal. Opal. What the hell's that? Opal Record. Mike, have you ever heard of an Opal Record? No. No, right. E-Series. E -series. That's how much we... we out of the... Uh, oh, sorry. Let's have a look at the picture of that. I want to see. What's above it? That's some... <sighs> Renault 16. I know all the others, but I don't know what that one is. Oh, it looks a bit like a Chevette. It, it's, it just looks reminds me a bit of the old Senator. Yeah. What do you reckon? I've never heard of a record, a record, record. So I, I wonder whether then they, they used to sell second-hand books. <laughs> definitely, definitely have a collection. Look at all the old little ones as well. And everything's so wrapped up. Let's go fishing, fashion. Okay. There must be a reason that they're all covered up. Dude, wouldn't you imagine the guy who lived here, it was like really dark, look at that, just a bit of lighting up here and there, he's put the little tube lights. Uh, don't tell me there's power in this place. No, don't try it though. Your broke light. That's what I was just saying to Paul, like, I can imagine how dark it was. Dude, just in a staircase. And more books. <laughs> I've never seen so many books in one house. Mad, it? it's a lot of that engine all smells quite fresh. It's just every room, look, even you come in the kitchen, there's more bags of books. Dave, that's just not the kitchen, there's another one next door. Oh, is there? Yeah, a better one. Mad, isn't it? Definitely, uh, yeah, really definitely yeah. a bit strange this one, I can't work nothing out. Yeah. What's it like there, Cara? There's just books everywhere. Well, the whole house is books. It's just saying the old... Be careful what you show there, because it shows what area we're in. Turn it over then, bro. I have turned it over, okay. but I'm just saying be careful, because I don't know if I've missed anything. Mate, I can't get over this house. He was it's like he's a massive hoarder and he's literally you can't just get in that next room. Is it that bad? Yeah. What books? No, we, uh, well I don't know, just every sort of dude squeeze through it. It's quite a nice place, isn't it? It is, yeah. <laughs> Guys, I've never ever experienced anything like this in my life. Just, oh, just empty boxes. You know, like it's collected more boxes to put more boots in. Uh, to put more. I love that Bassett's liquid tin there. Yeah, that's nice. Stop making everything like quality, doesn't it? I swear when I see this place before, I, the old. Uh, looks like an old like military bag or something. Yeah, it does. It probably, yeah, it's some military. We've got camping, magazines, another kitchen. Stress confusion created when one's mind owners the body's basic desire to choke the living shit out of some dude hole who desperately needs it. I think this guy, mate, is. I reckon he'll choke us, man, if he catches it anyway. Well, I think he's. Mate, this is unbelievable. You can see. No, that's it, you know. 
Yeah. Mate, I bet that. Look at all that. Stacks of books in here again. Those are cars? No, Bassett's. Oh, damn. Can't even get over to see them. Cassettes. So this looks like one of the original type farm rooms. You know it's the ceiling in here is quite like, you know, that yeah, house we went to. Right, it's called the big spiders. Yeah, it's tight though, but not going to go. It's, very it's a stupid trying to climb over it. Yeah, I want to go. I want to see the colour. Okay. A few steps onto that straight floors here. Look at this. These bring back so many memories. Mark, what car is that again? I'll tell you when I get there. Okay, we're doing this. When we get there. Oh, I don't know, I can't remember. Saab? I didn't oh, think yeah, it was. It? Look at all these old cars. Shame, because this is something that I'd like to keep hold of for that. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. So, and the old Bassett's tin. But again, we're in another room literally packed with books and stuff. Any other cars you recognise? Again, look, so many. Again, the human books. Building Muse. Building News, The Spy Who Loved Me. But I just want to show you as well, look at the ceiling in there. Oh, that's what Paul, show Paul. Yeah. Take it over and show him. Paul. The miniature one. XJ220. Oh, so, yeah, the cars we've hidden. Yeah, so that's and just for our that video only. clip. We've set them that video clip. Yeah. So we've hid them to save them. That's so cool, though. So, yeah, this would have been maybe the living room at some stage, but it's just. Look at it, guys. This place is so old, so decayed. I'm literally going to say like about 15, 20 years. Like seriously, it's, it's that bad. Like the curtains are falling down. Yeah. It's a crazy house. Trying to use the inside of the jump. Bro, we well, see we should have come last week. The house was very clean last week. Yeah, we missed it. Damn. Damn. Right upstairs. Yeah, let's go, darling. I hope. You coming, I Paul? Hope. It's off to explore. Are you coming upstairs? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't use those stairs, I'd use the other ones. Let's no, go the other stairs. Where are they? So, just give you a little pan back round. Even the jackets, everything's hanging up now. Are they dangerous? Yes. Yeah, look. What do you mean? Why did we just take the roughest stairs here, bro? Yeah, yeah, why did you? Because you jump, I have to jump, so you put me in danger, Dave. You see that, didn't you? The school in Hastings, do you remember? <coughs> Dude. Oh, yeah. And the stairs were literally on the... See, look at some of these books, look. Sorry, this one. This is doing really well. <gasps> oh, wow. Bro, open that up. I remember this book. Oh, yeah, I swear to God, I, I remember no, the name of it, the book. Spot's Birthday Party. Yeah. Let's play hide, hide and seek. seek. One, Story two, time. Actually, three. let's start again. Go to act. Story time. Ready? Story time. <laughs> Spot's so birthday what party. What book are we going to read today, Mark? Spot's birthday party. <laughs> it's Spot's birthday. Let's play hide and seek. One, two, three. <gasps> Where's Spot gone? Ready or not, <gasps> I remember here this. comes Spot. Yes. It's a lift up pot. You must remember. Where is he? <gasps> Not yet. It's a crocodile. <gasps> is it a crocky? Yeah. All right. Let's see what we've got there. Spot has found <laughs> someone, someone behind the curtain. Yeah, Who's Spot? I oh, remember this book so bad, man. <laughs> that, that was, was quick. quick. You must have the same problem. Dude, I feel like this guy's robbed the library. <laughs> <laughs> and someone in the cupboard. No, I don't. He's robbed. Come on, Dave. Have a look oh, in the cupboard. I can't remember what was in there. Oh, can I open it? Yeah, go on. Yeah, that reminds me when I was a little kid. <gasps> oh, hiss! <gasps> snake! Sammy Snake! 
Oh, Carl, you know you want to laugh. She wants to Come open Come out, one. Spot. <laughs> Go can on, you Carl. can see you. Go on. Move the bath shower. <gasps> Isn't this fun? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Look, we can tell what it was anyway. <laughs> I'll just get on with it, Mark. <laughs> Somebody giggled <laughs> under the coat. It's not the owl. It's a... Uh, oh, I thought it was an owl. She penguins. tickled me. <laughs> <Tickle>. <laughs> That's a silly way to hide. What are we like? We're just literally doing the whole spot book, guys. You, <laughs> no, it isn't. you know half these people are logged off now. <laughs> Paul's like, what am I with? How did you find me here? Because I opened the door. Nothing. Well, it's not only the door peeking on people. Where's Spot then? Look, we might as well finish it off now. Where's Spot? Yeah. Well, how many more animals have we got to do? There's only a few pages, so we might as well finish right, it off. Okay. Right, okay. Who's, who's that under the table? <gasps> Shh, don't tell Spot. You see him? Look, he's gone. Oh, shh, Spot's there. Calm down, Spot. He's making a mess all over the place. Oh, Spot. There's puppies for you, innit? I'm lost. Of course he's this turtle, innit? <laughs> Happy birthday, Spot. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah all Guys, that. tune in next week for story time. <laughs> next week, we have Toy, Toy Story. Story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, WWE oh. Day. Right, guys, on a serious note, I've never, ever, ever seen so many oh, books man. in one house. This is some oh, serious, no, see like seriously holding. Do you realise there's probably a lot of money in there? There's probably a really odd book in here. Look how old that is. Dennis the Menace, 1968. You still have Dennis the Menace. I'm literally going to hide this book. It's got Garfield. We've not stolen it either. I'm going to hide it. Which books? Let's put it somewhere. Ready? Uh. <laughs> What's that? What's he talking to? I don't know. Have you been up here? Yeah, I It is literally just books everywhere. This is in 2010. What's that? We're changing hate. Wow. <laughs> like, literally. Where does this guy live? Where did he live? Where did he sleep? This must be the light office. Do you know, what's, do you know what the saddest thing about this house is? Breathing in a load of crap and got a mask in the well, bag lock. Well, there, there is that as well. But <laughs> what is where are all these books going to end? Dude, there's a thing that says Sussex cars, hide it. Whatever the last page is, I suppose. Eastbourne, wasn't it you? Yeah. So this is his desk, literally, look, his computer, his office is here. He's literally buried himself with books. I literally can't stress, it feels like so claustrophobic in this like, Question, place. Question, what makes God laugh? Answer, listening to people's plans for the future. Yeah, I suppose, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, do you remember these Friday ads? Yeah, that's what I was saying, like Eastbourne. <laughs> it's like our way. Uh, sorry, Eastbourne. Oh, Dave, I found your favourite one. Barbie Facts of Files. That's a bit of a random one in like this place. I really wish I knew, like, could find out the history of this place, like, what's going on, why so many books. I ain't got Scooby Doo, Glasgow, like you know, basic places. dive, BSAC diving, Isles to win, uh, win. What's the what? nest of sparrow, Halley book Schooner, against the law, English humour, English humour. So we just chuck one out there. Oh, they're actually quite long. I thought it was going to be quite short. Of course it won't be. No, but I thought they were just going to be like little little phrases or something. Just so many, honestly, so many books. It's unbelievable. Crazy. There's got to be easily a few thousand, isn't there? A few thousand? Guys, I've never seen a house so packed. There's way more than a few thousand. Ready? Yeah. Just read it, guys. But occasionally I enjoy listening to an expert. <laughs> I'll let you read it. There's quite some like humid signs around in here. Yeah, there are. Bro, can you get over this place? Have you ever seen so many books in a house? Not in a house. That's and what I mean. I mean, there's a bed next door underneath all the books. Is there a bed in there? There's a bed there. 
I was wondering where this guy's actually sleeping, man. They were definitely actively living here and uh, selling books. There's a lot of kids books. You think they're selling books? Yeah, I think they're definitely selling them. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, bro, Tom's look at some of these. Engine. Where's he, man? Noddy, yeah. Oh, look at all that. All, every He-Man book. Transformers. Cinderella, 101 Dalmatians, all up here, look. I can't yeah, all the Disney ones. All the Thomas Tank Engines, Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, a lot of the old Disney's. The Read It Yourself book, The Three Bears. The Lions Party with the cassette. Look how old some of these two A. Hey, Tiptoes, the mischievous kitten. I mean, guys, you're talking probably 50s, a lot of these. These books, I remember, used to collect through uh, tokens, I think. I'm literally shocked, bro. The six bad boys. <laughs> Eight o'clock. That's absolutely crazy, bro. Yeah, Shame. So it's like the um, the old scales there as well. Is there anything on that, Dave? What's that, bro? Yeah, look. No? Oh, it's a map. Oh, it's an old map. I don't want to put it down and break it. And look, his computer and everything's still there. Everything's literally... Like, like down, massively <laughs> packed of stuff. It's unbelievable. Like, yeah, bro. No way, guys. Look at this. Oh, look at this old vintage map. On your roller. Oh, no way. Wow. And then there's bags of like rubbish. It's like they've collected everything. Yeah, yeah. I'm literally, I'm, honestly guys, I'm literally shocked. I can't get over this place. It is crazy, crazy, crazy. I mean, I feel like, because maybe with the little receipt rolls and stuff, maybe he was, maybe he was selling these books or collecting. He was a very, like a big collector. I don't know Guildford, really. Where? Guildford. Oh, listen to that. You're right. Yeah. Oh, you want me worried then. Good cooking. So it's lovely, you know, going back up. Look at that. The old vintage map. I do like that. Yeah, so if you had a nice space, you'd just drop it down, wouldn't you? Look at that. All back up as well. Let's have a squeeze around here, bro. Look at the old CRT TV. I was actually playing at my nan and granny's years ago. Um, uh, tanks, uh, something on the old Atari on one of these TVs. It's got to be like, what is your explanation? Put in the comments below what you think. Why? Why is this guy like, what's this about? Why is he collecting so many books? Christmas last posting dates. Western Europe. Just wondering, these are like eBay things. I'm wondering if he was maybe selling the books. It's a shame, really. I just wish they could save some of the kids' ones. <laughs> Who remembers these? Because I totally do. I can't get over it, bro. Well, we found a connection. How? What? I don't think we can say it on camera. No, I can't really say it, unfortunately, but we have we have managed to... Uh... So, what is it? You can say on camera. I'm not going to say nothing or show anything, but we have found a HM Revenue letter, and it is basically, he went under a book name, um, so he was actually trading books. This was his job, it's and he had a farm as well. But he literally, don't you think he just buried himself in his own home with his business? Mark, I know, I know you. This dude, have, you, have, you, have, have you seen... Dude. <laughs> Have you seen a room in this house where you could literally just chill out? No, there's, there's not. There's not That's what I'm saying. So he's running a out. farm and he's running his own business from no, home, a book house. A farm. You think if he's a writer and things like I that, suppose, yeah. they like their own seclusion, don't they? To but his surname, we're not going to give it away, we're not going to give it away, but his surname is literally very, like, if I'd very said it. Known. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like, is he the maker of something? It's 2004 here. 
say, like, his name is very, like, it, it's a well-known name. It's, but it's a maker of something, but I'm not going to give it away any more than that. But you see what I mean, guys? Like, where was this guy actually, where was he sleeping? Where was he living? Like, how, how do you survive like this? Oh, no, he did. He obviously did. Probably is actually living in the state of this place. But I'm saying there's probably a lot of money of books in here. There's probably some rare books that are worth. Probably well, he, we could probably retire now. Or he was a book dealer. If we were like that, we could, and we knew what we was looking at, we could probably retire on one of these books in here, maybe. Well, we know he's a book <laughs> dealer, but you never know. Maybe one day, bro, we'll win the lottery. Yeah. All right, let's carry on, bro. Oh yeah, we come across. The, we've got to go along here, haven't we? This is what I'm talking about, guys and girls. Look, every bit you walk through, <laughs> corridors. What's the floor, bro? It's crazy. They're pretty cool, the little rhino, isn't it? Dude, where does this guy live? Where does he sleep? <laughs> In a place like this. <laughs> I just feel like, don't you feel like claustrophobic a little bit? And I don't suffer claustrophobia, but you really feel so enclosed yeah, in this place. Like? I know some of them ain't, Dave. What? That the fact that he's put them in these bags is going to save a lot of these books. So if someone yeah, does come Yeah, damp, here, I suppose. But then look, bro. Hopefully they work common sense. Look. Yeah, some of them will. They're getting they, damp they in there. But some of them look okay, Dave. And I reckon... Look, look. I mean, bro, where's this bedroom you were saying about? <laughs> bedroom? <laughs> What's up? Is it dead? I think it's like Fine. next door along. What, one of these? Yeah, no, left hand, left hand oh. side. Let's have a look. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, I can't get over this, I really can't. Oh my god, man. Thank you, thank you. I think this one's crazy. Well, yeah, could you, honestly, could yeah. you live like that? You couldn't. Where's the, where's the bed one? Guys, <laughs> every cop room. Oh, sis, never heard of that game. I'll see what we've been now. I'm literally gobsmacked. I really am. I mean, you reckon 50,000? <laughs> Mate, I have no idea. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, well, 11, 12. Be old, no brown back thing. There's 20 just there. So if you said 20, 40, 68, there's 100 just there. Like if you went roughly. So if you went 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. There's about 300 books, bruv, just there. Just that. I forgot what they call that, it's something to do with the, um, I don't know if it's like a, oh, I don't know, I'm not even going to, it's like, so guys, I don't know if you want me to show you a couple again, but, Rain Charm for Dutchie, Clarkson, oh, there's literally just books upon books. Now don't get me wrong, I love books, but I just feel like even it's too much for me. Sorry? It's in the next room. But everything, bro, look, you open a box, it's books. But it will be, it's a book thing. Yeah, but isn't where it? does he sleep? Well, you probably want this. I imagine he sleeps on the books. Holy. Bro, this, like. Uh, <laughs> what? I, don't, I just don't know what to say. Whoa! Kirk <laughs> Douglas, Otto Brial, Griffey. It's like the never ending <laughs> books. You know what I'm worried about, though? I'm sad to say, so we are going to all get soaked getting back to the Do you know what I'm worried about as well? Standing on this floor with the weight of all these books. <laughs> uh, Do you feel alright? Yeah, it's nice. Look, poetry. Um, right, okay, so we won't go around there. So no. Paul's just found his favourite section, the adult <laughs> content. He's <laughs> got a bed here, though. He's got a sofa bed to go with the adult section. No way. So, so this is... This is Pretty much his living area. Not that one and not me. I would say, yeah, I mean, 
He's got a... So th this is pretty much your living area. Come get it. Come and get it. Is that what it's called? Come and get come it? Come and get it. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, we ain't even got to explain what book that is, but Paul found it. It's called Come and Get It. <laughs> yeah, so we just come to like a weird bit of a conclusion. So this guy was a book dealer, but it's also a very like public -y walk path that's not literally far from here. And we've already passed two trout, like people backpacking to sleep sorry one person <laughs> and yeah it's like maybe it was what Paul said that people came here to like borrow a book or read a book who knows the year 2000 what was going on it's 3am heart fob God, 21 years ago mate where was that old gringo <sighs> crazy isn't it? Literally, I'm just, I'm just in shock. Oh, he had good taste in aftershave. I mean, her about. Really? Yeah. Is it still off? Um, Martins. We could just keep going. This is quite um, The Incredibles. But what worries me is, like, as I said to you, what what will happen to all these? You know, what will it? What, you know, will they all end up in a skip landfill? You know, what's going to happen to them? Because there's just so many here. Like, <laughs> Tarzan the terrible, the science of self. I mean, some of these look really old, just the pictures on them. You know the premier book of, for girls. I mean, look, look, Dean's dog. premier book for girls. That's okay. a bit sexist, isn't it? A book for girls? It's all about boys. But it kind of was probably like that years ago, though, isn't it? It was like... Ooh. A score for Hungary. <laughs> there you go, Guinness Book of Records, 1987. Wow, really? Yeah. In case we come back up. So I'm going to go back and head to the other one. Oh, look at that. For cold contained, rinse with cold water. It's like an old fashioned flask, I think. Yeah, I think we should, think we should uh, move Look at that. Yeah, let's go. That's black and light. Awesome. <sighs> I can feel it on my throat because it's yeah, dry. Yeah, guys, I'm going to see. I, I, I mean, I'm in in shock. I just can't get my head around this place. I get that he's a book dealer, but I just feel like he buried himself in his own house, like with this size land and this size house. I agree. I would have probably had a massive container outside, and or you know, some built something that can keep all the books in. Got to show that, Dave. How much damp's in? This is inside. You know, it's crazy. Yeah, but the walls. Look at them. They're built differently, weren't they, to our house? So this is probably quite old ass, isn't it? Yeah, but dude, I've not I've just not seen anywhere where this guy can actually sit down and chill out. It's raining hard. Oh It is a shame, you know, these are actually brand new books. No, no, and that's what I said, what is gonna to happen to them? Well, they're gonna be landfilled some of these. Look brand new. I'm sorry to uh... Look, the paper pound, seventeen ninety seven to eighteen twenty one. Bullen report. You know, <laughs> There's so much history here, like just literally going to waste. I don't even know where. Do you know what? I'm completely lost. That way out. We go through the back door now. Let's just go round here. It's quite good. Dude, we haven't been down here. No, yeah, we haven't. What? You found somewhere. What? Oh, <laughs> Mark. I oh, know, I see that. I'm just saying we've got there, but... <laughs> Look at the old radio. This is mad. Yeah. Huh? I'd like to have that in the shed. I love that. Look at the old radio, Paul. Oh, wow, I didn't see that. Rabsy Nexby. Ain't that the guy you were talking about earlier? No. Oh, no, Royal Family. There you go, guys and girls. Pinky and the perky. Pinky and perky. What's in a box like this? 
Surely he didn't know every book was in this place. I bet he did. Hey. Oh, do you think it's like Harry Potter, you know, the guy with a wand, when you could go in here and say, have you got a book and such and yeah. such, and he knew exactly where to go and get it. What was it? What is it, a trunk or what? No, I'm not being funny, he probably does know where every book was. I, he definitely was into something. I, mean, I thought they were sticky bombs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet he knew everywhere, everything was in this place. Literally go straight to it and be like, yeah, here we go. Honestly. I know if I've got that song on my phone. That's what I said, look, there's so many brand new books. Brand new. Oh. There's so, I mean, this is, this is a book lover's dream house. Maybe not the house, but I know so many people who love books are literally sitting in there watching this and like, oh, wow, I wish I could save them. wish I could go in there and just grab some novels and... <laughs> I just don't know how this guy got around in this place. Oh. I don't even know where we came in at the minute. No, where's the door? You know the door I found? No, come on. What? Yeah, so they're just coming back out of here, moving around. You can see like how far the, the hallway is. I'm literally shocked of how big this house is. Who's banging? I've just found another door. Oh. Have you really? It just keeps going. It just... Where is it? Mark. Come up here. Alright. I don't want to fall through this floor, it's dodgy, man. So yeah, it's another room, we're going to head up here. Stay to this side. Oh, I can feel the stairs yes, moving. That's and look how he's tried repairing some of the steps with some old jib ball. Oh, it's all ruined. So we've got all videos. Paul, yeah. if you're coming up them stairs, stay the other side. Stay this side. No, the other this side. This side, yeah. yeah. Cool. Bro, I am wow. just literally... It's a bit sketchy, mate. Yeah. I don't feel safe Dude, up here at all. I've had a bedroom. <laughs> and I'm shocked because this is so obviously... something different than books. This yeah. is obviously where he came yeah. to sleep. Look at the little TV, it's not even much exciting. Oh, everything's so mouldy in it. That's bad, is it? <coughs> <coughs> What's this flooring up here? No, it's even worse than this room. I'm literally shocked. His little bedroom. So this is it, he's just come and locked obviously his house up. Maybe he let, used to let people come and look this round right. to buy the books, that's why he's locked his bedroom. Yeah, that's what I think. Dave, don't walk too far backwards. There's no floor. Where is Kara? I don't know. Go on. Bloody nightmare. Why are they? Swap. Sorry? Swap if you want, because obviously that floor is Oh, wow, bro. This one? No, yeah, this floor feels fine, to be honest. It's just... Uh... I don't realise how far this goes back, guys. This place is unreal, so... I'm literally shocked, bro. It's like the TARDIS, isn't it? I yeah. thought when we came in... When we came in, I thought it was, you know, a handful of books or a few shelves. Just empty. I'm Just shocked there's not books in there. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> I was expecting something... Dave, you're going to be even more shocked. Super grand. Why? What do you see? This is just mad. Oh, be careful in there, man. Yeah, but look, you can't go around this way. It goes all the way over there, look. Yeah. Dude. This is going to be no, dodgy. To go up there. Guys, on the floor. Everyone be careful, man. Please. Look. No, it just keeps going. It, as, it, as it started to crack and go through, I would probably be already out of the room. Look. So is this TV. I don't know how far I want to walk down there, Dave, but look. It is just chocolate right oh, to the end. Way. Look, books after books after books. Should we try? Oh my god. Paul, wait, be careful, mate. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to let you two. This is really. Let this go. You see how far the roof, roof goes? These books. Yeah, that, well, downstairs is the same. It's just <sighs> books again. Oh, I was it's, literally shocked. Yeah, it's a lot tidier than What's this. What's the last video? There's a video in there. He was watching Anita, whatever that is. 
Dave, come on, we shouldn't be up here too long. Oh, look, these are proper turny things. I love the way he's at. Those bookshelf things, you t turn it and it changes the shelf. Oh, she can move it along? Yeah. Dave, I don't want to be up here too long. Because you think if this flooring goes with all these books, we're all going through. Dead. Oh, dude, look at the uh, book press. Paul, can you see that right there? Oh, wow. That's, that's, that's nice, that, isn't it? Dude, do you want to estimate how many spiders are in this place? Down inside of it, there, and you can see where it's sinking into the floor. You know, oh. the funny thing is, though, when you look at this part of the building, this is the one part that he's actually invested in. Yeah. Dude, look at this place. It's down below. It's sinking in the floor, Dave. It is literally. This could kill us. This all goes. Oh, yeah, we won't survive this. The weight of these racks. It feels like we're on a beam, though, so. Look at even that, look, just makeshift windows. Please, I'm serious if we do fall through. Whoa! Nah, bro, there's holes, look, it's all going. Oh my god, man. Guys, I'm not going to go any further. Karate master! It goes all around. Sword and honour. No, I'm not even lying, look. Straight down. Yeah, come on now. We've got kids to get out of here. Stay on this bit, on the speed. <laughs> mental, man. Mate, I, keep, I feel like I keep saying mental, but... Paul, we've, I we've literally done so much exploring in the past, but I've never ever came across the house I'm like this. Rocks. Just, I've never Do seen we want to up like the 50,000 mark? <laughs> I, think we, I think we're going to go over the 50,000. 100? Can't yeah. be that much, surely. It's a, it's a... Mate, you're talking. Yeah, there's, there's got to be. There's... there's 11 books in just a bag there, yeah, so even the if you said there's 30, I'm you know, nice. just on top of the shelves, it's, it's just off continuation. Off. Wait till you see downstairs. I just, this is meant... I can't stop saying mental. It's amazing. It is hard to say, like, different words. It's crazy up here. I've been saying though. crazy. Huh? These old spotlight things. Right, do you see the old book press around here? No. Oh, right. Look around this corner. See it there? Oh, yeah. You know the old fa uh, fashion book? Oh, look at the old newspaper there. 1982. The original visitors, friends of Lancaster. Oh, look. And the box is still there, I think. Yeah. <laughs> it's a shame, man, that, you know, one day all this is probably just going to collapse and bury itself in. It's the same as the Poet Mansion. Uh, the Poet Mansion is literally first edition books in there, literally falling through. Hey, don't hang around up here. No one should, I don't No, I'm going into this. Actually, the house is falling down. You should be alright for a little while, though. Just, uh, like just still go around and all? Yeah. Long's concept. I think upstairs. Long's concept. Was this a. Uh, it's an old recorder? Yeah, or something like that. You know, like something out of Evil Dead, the old tape recorder. Oh. Condor. It's That's not been open for how long? That's, it hasn't been open, to be fair, that's quite right. Yeah, oh, sorry, dude. There was more. Pushing you then. Get rid of that now. Learning box, the magic shop. There's not really a lot of room there, Dave. So I'll let you go through. <laughs> oh wow, bro! <laughs> you asked us that a lot of time, dude, man. Sure we shouldn't call it the cat food. So there's so many like feels like fire hazards, just yeah. everything here. Huh? We shouldn't call it the cat food, guys. I know. Definitely like it just kept everything. Do you think it's a total holder as well? There's definitely some well, of it. Um, like why would you keep I'm not being like funny, but why would you keep so many of this? Old empty boxes of cat food and cat tins. What's the floor in all? See the flooring's gone round here. 
the racking's just fell over. Well, I'm literally in shock. I really am. Yeah, I've never seen so many books in a house. Like when Mark, like you're talking hundreds of thousands, like I reckon you're talking hundreds of thousands in here, honestly. It's got to be. I know what though. It's 14 there, so even said 14 there, it's 28 straight away, so just them four piles. Like, just to come back here and count them all. <laughs> just them four lots, there's nearly 100 <laughs> books, Mark. Do you know? Oh no, sorry, just that rat is 100, say roughly. So like even you said 100, 200, 300. 400, there's nearly 500 books out here. Yeah, so if we get 10,000 likes, Mark will come back on his own and count the books. You will. <laughs> what is that, Paul? Goat's Toys. Oh, it's like a, yeah, it's the old, um, it's the old building blocks, I think. See that? Go for it. Oh! Hey, it's scary, man. Cover that up, cover it up. <laughs> The power is on one switching in plugs up. Dude, I, I, I seriously do think, and I know hoarding can be an illness as well for people, but I really do think this guy has literally buried himself in his own home, bro. Do you think his business just got on top of him and it's just. just yeah, he was definitely. Um, was like definitely he's literally, as I said, that he's, like, why would you keep all the tins? You know? I think I'm going to get out of here now. Hey? It's absolutely hammering it down out there. Look where the car is. Oh, I ain't got a clue. I don't even know where we are in your house no more. You got it from the car. I'm not being funny. I don't think this house felt as big, looked as big as it is from the Mate, outside. Mate, I am shocked. It's like you go around a corner and there's another room. Yep. You can see how many thousands of that stuff in cabinets. Remember? Oh, that's the way there, yeah, yeah, the suitcase. Oh. Oh, Guys, it's like Fun. honestly getting lost in a house of books. I'm going to have a nightmare tonight over books, and I do love a book, but I just feel like there's just too much for me in here. It's literally yeah, like door, you feel so claustrophobic, honestly. Well, we're going to literally. <laughs> Oh, you little sod. I was asking where you was. You got me. I was actually worrying. I was like, where I is he? I you up from that side. You've been outside? Yeah. I was just chilling in the dark room for like an hour waiting for you to come. Right, I need to get out of here. Had different looks now. It's like the haunted house. So we, we could have been down, down there. That, that was the bit that we were down just right towards the end. Yeah, I know. But new roof on don't it. Don't you feel it feels bigger inside than it does when you're outside? It's, it's absolutely massive. No, Guys, as you can see, it's raining. Um, I've never seen nothing like that before. That is the one off. Um, I was behind that door as well, bro. Um, it's it's a place that I don't think that I'll ever come back. Um, it's just so dusty in there. I had the wrong mask on. Uh, I feel like I've lost 10 years of my life, maybe 15. Um, yeah, my mouth's well dry. I just can't get my head around it. Like, I get that the guy, it's like me being a car mechanic. Huh? I'm gonna wait for Colt. Oh, is it not cold up? No. Yeah, so it's like me as a car mechanic, but then kind of having thousands of cars around me and kind of sleeping in a garage next to a car. There's, n there's nothing. Hi right, guys, I'm gonna put the camera on anyway, but uh, thank you so, so much for clicking on the video. What's that? A what? Be careful, it might be poisonous. Oh yeah. Really? Go and put them in the lake though. Nah. Case is poisonous. It's not. It's raining anyway. It's not poisonous from our country. Alright dude, go on, get off your goat. <laughs> go on. Wait, 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 wait. Hey guys, thank you so so much for clicking on the video. Uh, love to our Patreons. Uh, love to all, obviously our followers. Love to the people behind our scenes. This is one of our moderators, but also looks after our channel and a really good friend of ours anyway. But um, he's actually out exploring. Uh, who knows, it could be used next time. You never know. But yeah, all the links, guys, in the description, Facebook, Instagram, you name it, we're on it. But 
Yeah, I'm going to put the camera away, it's raining, but if you've got an explanation of that house, no, you're going off the path. drop it in the link below. Let me know what you think your views on that place, but oh, it's out from me, it's out from Paul, out from Marky, out from Cara. <laughs> Love you all guys, stay safe and I'll see you soon.